Are you bad at remembering things? Do you want to develop a memory like that of Sherlock Holmes? A memory palace can help. The ancient Greeks created it, and the world memory champions use it to stick a huge amount of information in their mind. Are memory champions more intelligent than the general public? No. Scientists found that their intellect and brain structures are not superior. The only difference is that when learning new information, they use the brain regions associated with visual and spatial memory. With a bit of practice, you can remember almost anything. How does the memory palace technique work? Basically, humans are very good at remembering visual and spatial information, but not so good at remembering abstract information like numbers, words, and lists. So you need to create a mind palace where you link pieces of information with a location you are familiar with. To recall your memories, all you need to do is to walk through your palace. Don't understand what I mean? Here are the steps. Step one: choose a location you know well. Think of a location you are familiar with, like your room, school, or office. Keep the images of these locations in your mind. Step two: Plan out the route. Start from the front door. Go clockwise. Pick five items like furniture, windows, and artwork. Number them. Step three: Add information to the items. Get a list of things that you want to remember, be it numbers, cards, test information, a speech, or vocabulary. For example, lately I've been trying to memorize some Spanish words, so I got a list: perro, sonreír, salud, amor, llamar. Convert these things into visual and sensory images in your mind, and then you can start to place information in your mind palace. Associate a new information to each item there. Perro, <laughs> sonreír. Amor. Llamar. The crazier, more bizarre you create these images, the more likely you are gonna remember them. Step four: Recall information. Once you have memorized the contents in your palace, spend some time there. Walk through your palace a few times to recall your memories. Step five: Create multiple palaces. If you have a lot of information to memorize, you probably need more than one mind palace. Each palace can be dedicated for one type of information. Now you know how a mind palace works. It's a powerful way to tap into your brain's ability to store information. Give it a try. 小天才们，别忘了点赞、收藏和转发呀！大家叫一个，大家快点看这里，看这里啊，然后叫一个。嗯，不会叫，我来给你配音啊！等等，再来！哦，好。